And then a week later, I vomited it up. Stop. <gasps> you have to put it back in. Morning lovelies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amity Gilmore and this is my life. It's been full on and I'm not going to go into it yet. I'll give you an update soon. But for now, I am going into town to meet up with Isabella or Isabella, my lovely, beautiful friend. And I just have a gift to wrap for her because it's my new product that I'm launching. I'm really excited about it. I'm giving her one of the first prototypes. So I'm really excited. But anyway, let's go pack this. I just got dressed because what I was wearing was absolutely ridiculous for the weather and temperature of the day because it is literally stinking hot but I just had to show it's not as bad as it was last night wait how do I it's pretty big and stiff anyway this is what I'm wearing out because it's nice and it's fancy and it's nice and cool. Isabella! She's gonna open her present. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you. Oh, it's wrapped beautifully. <gasps> Wait, these are the candles! Yeah! Oh! What <gasps> oh, the letters! <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. I love it. Oh. <laughs> what scent is this? Vanilla caramel. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Amity, thank you so much. That's so beautiful. I haven't seen anything like that before. Okay, let's update you guys on this whole scenario that's been going on. So I took a break over the Christmas period from YouTube just to get used to everything with my tube and also just to take a step back from social media because I think that's really healthy. 6th of December, I got my NJ in. If you want to see that video, I'll link it up here. But basically, I got my first NJ and then a week later, I vomited it up into my stomach and then half a week later, I vomited it out completely. So then I had to get a new tube. And I vomited that one out in a week. And so then I had to get a new tube on Christmas Eve. And they let me out just in time for Christmas. Christmas was uh, tough, as a lot of you GPs would know. It's quite tough at Christmas time. Everyone's eating, which I'm so thankful they have bodies that are allow them to eat. But it's kind of you know sad when you're watching everyone eat and you can't eat the Christmas cheer. But uh, yeah, so Christmas was hard. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. So... The tube that I got on Christmas Eve actually lasted the longest. It lasted, I don't know, like three or four weeks or three and a half weeks. And then after coming back from camp, I went into a massive flare up and I'm still in that flare up today. And I've just been having vomiting attack after vomiting attack and I vomited up the tube. So then I had to get a new one and I vomited up that tube. So then I got a new one and that's the one I have today. Now let me clarify, all the tubes that I got bar the one at the start have been NGs, so nasogastric. The reason for that is because they can't really do an NJ over Christmas because it's like a big procedure. But I am going to NJ tomorrow. So anyway, that's the update on all the chaos that's happened. I am actually going to be doing a Q&A about my experience with a feeding tube because I've been getting a lot of questions online and on Instagram from people who are in the same situation I was a couple months back where they were considering it but I was like freaking out about the idea of it. And so I understand that you're freaking out because I was scared but I want to do a Q&A to help you guys know more about it because I know there's so many people at the moment that follow my channel who are in that situation situation. So I will do a comment in the comment section asking for your questions and then just reply to that comment with your questions to do with all things to do with life of the feeding tube. When I mean life of the feeding tube I mean with like a 
nasogastric and a nasal jejunum because they're the two feeding tubes that I have had so far. I have no experience with no others. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to do this really quick and that's my update. put a warning up but I'm gonna put another warning again um, because if you're squeamish you don't want to see this. Tomorrow I'm getting an NJ so to make it a little bit more easy for the people doing that uh, I'm going to pull my tube out tonight. This is only an NG nasogastric. Uh, I guess what I should say beforehand is do not do this at home even if you have a nasogastric consult your doctor first because your doctor knows what's best knows what's best for you so just because I am pulling it out does not mean you should pull it out obviously as anything goes on this channel talk to your doctor first this is not the first time I've pulled one out so just letting you guys know like I, I can do this out Whew. all right <laughs> hey lovelies so I am ending the day off in a way I usually end my days off which is me sitting laying down on the bed and Eliza over there hello say hi Eliza over there on my chair that she loves to sit on and we just go through reels I said and my good stuff she doesn't have that many good funny things on her reels, and I'm the best. I, l I have the aesthetic stuff on my reels. She has, like, the funny, chaotic stuff on her reels. So we just send each other reels. We just go through our reels. And if we see something, we just send it. Hey, Liza, whose reels are better, yours or mine? Mine. Are you sure about that? Tell me. So, I am currently in bed, Liza's here, and we made some poor life decisions. You did? <laughs> we did. We went down a YouTube rabbit hole. Don't you dare move your feet. Hmm? <laughs> we went down a YouTube rabbit hole of watching um things about Wakehurst, what's it called, Wakehurst Park, which is like a road in Sydney. I don't want to talk about it. It's haunted. Um, we watch like a whole bunch. Don't look at me like that. We watch like a whole bunch of stuff about that, and also the Cecil Hotel. And um, now I am not going to be able to get to sleep tonight. Thanks to her. You were the one who pulled out the laptop. Is that in the looking at that? Sorry, but you told me about it, and I was curious and. The curiosity killed the cat. Anyway, I gotta go to bed. Because I've got a big day tomorrow. Don't you dare. Stop scaring me. Um, stop. Booga <laughs> booga. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. found somebody I say you don't cross my mind and she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine now I take the long way home avoid what I can't let go
Sometimes I do, cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to, on First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know Yeah, shut the back in Not hard I don't always think about you Till First Avenue when I do Hey guys, I think I'm ready to talk about it. These beautiful flowers, do you love them? I got them from a friend, she dropped by. I love them so much. They are so pretty. And they're just like on here I just love the color it brings it's just not nice and bright so let's put this on a tripod there we go mind my bed it is a mess I've been in it most of the last two three days Speaking about my camera gear, I have been getting a lot of uh, messages on Instagram asking what camera I use and stuff like that. So I've linked some Amazon affiliate links down below where you can go check out my camera gear and maybe buy it if you want to. But they are affiliate links so I do get a commission from them. I'm just going to take this off because I'm actually getting pretty hot. Monday I... Hey everyone, Future Amity here. Yes, I have an NG at the moment. NG, not NJ, uh, but that's beside the point. And I'm in Sydney at the moment. Cool. Um, now that that's aside, so the video I did explaining what happened just went too long and I was not actually in the right mind when doing it. So I was pretty much like scattering my words and everything and it just wasn't really good. So I'm going to explain what happened now, but I'm going to do it really quickly. I'm just going to read what I wrote on Instagram about it because I feel like that just sums it up completely about how my day went. But okay. I'm so over this stupid body, so this is how my day went. 7 o'clock, arrive at hospital for my NJ placement. 7.30, go through triage and get dressed and ready to go. 8 o'clock, go into operating room and fall asleep with anesthesia. 9 o'clock, wake up and get checks S-ray to check if my NG, NJ is inserted properly. 10.30, after a long wait, my x-rays are ready and show that it's in my stomach, not my jejunum. 10.45, get told that I am going to have to go in and do it all over again at 1 p.m. 11.30, watch Soul Surfer while waiting. 1 o'clock, go into the operating room and go to sleep again with more anesthesia and painkillers. Um, 3 o'clock, wake up and have a chest x-ray. Uh, 3.30, have a doctor come to speak to me to let me know that one, oh, that one, my tube is in my stomach, not my jejunum. Two, the procedure took an hour long, unusually long for this procedure. Three, my body kept rejecting the tube even as they were putting it in, as it was not going further than the stomach. Four, I had an esophageal spasm at one point and vomited a little, so I have to be on the watch out tonight, tonight being when I wrote this, for symptoms because they have a slight worry I have fluid in my lungs. No beds at all to keep me in to monitor. Five, the gastro is organizing a peg J surgery in the next month or so. Four, four o'clock. After all that, get the tube pulled out and mom is called to pick me up. Five o'clock, go home and cry. I must say though, Everyone was really kind and caring at the hospital. It's no one's fault. It's just that my body sucks. That's what I wrote. And I think that kind of sums up my day on Monday. I hope you like this video. It's a bit of a downer at the end. I'm sorry. Um, but this is what life with gastroparesis is like. It There are downers. 
Uh, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you liked it even more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. You can also follow me over my Instagram at Amity Gilmore. God bless. Love you guys.